Um, what is your your thought on the quarterback so far? I mean, we've seen Purdy. I thought Purdy looked spectacular today in the in the move the ball drills. Um, I thought Darnold had a good day too, though, and I've I I think Trey Lance is clearly improving. Um, and and the 49ers have four NFL caliber guys, and they said they wanted depth here. They've got depth here. What what has been your read on the quarterbacks thus far, Manny? Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think they've gotten better. I think um, Purdy has, you know, he looked rusty early on. Um, this isn't an original thought, but I mean, I think it's it's the correct one that he's been sort of working his way um, back into into form. And today was probably the best one. And it was a long practice. So that, that's sort of the advantage that the number one guy gets in this camp. And that the number two guy would have had in previous camps because the number two guy in previous camps would have gotten basically the same number of snaps as the number one guy. This year, those snaps are being split by um, Sam Darnold and Trey Lance. So both of those guys are getting fewer, but in a long practice like today, everybody gets a a bite of the apple. It seems like Um, I think that Lance, um, still is struggling from time to time with the layups. I mean, there was one in the move the ball drill. He rolled to his right, had an easy throw, just a, a simple throw. This, this is a throw that Larry Kruger could have completed. And he just left it short. <laughs> like um, like he, he still doesn't really have a feel for, you know, when you're, when you're moving on your own and you already have some momentum going, um, what, uh, what you need to do. And and my thought was that in, in the past, he's really kind of thrown that ball too hard. Uh, and this time he went in the opposite direction, just had nothing on it. And it bounced in front of the receiver. And I saw uh, uh, a bunch of uh, players on the sidelines sort of shaking their head after that. That was an easy one. That was a layup. But then he had a, a just a beautiful throw on the sideline, deep sideline to Juwan Jennings, and and those are the types of throws that he's making, timing throws uh, where he's having to let go of the ball before the guy makes the cut. And um, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if those throws had been there in previous years, but they're hitting the mark this year. So you're starting to see um, absolute progress from him. Um, to me, I, I feel like he's still ahead of Sam Darnold because he gives you – the element of scrambling and running that that Darnold doesn't really give you as much. I mean, Darnold can run, so can Purdy. But, uh, you know, for Lance, you'd be getting real chunk plays there. And and those aren't uh, built into these uh, training camp practice scripts. So it's sort of unfair because you're, you're not giving um, Lance uh, some of the things at which he excels in this offense. But um, that, that to me – kind of um, puts him, if it's if it's a close, uh, if it's a tie between him and Sam Darnold, I would think that um, that ability to, to run with the ball puts Lance ahead of Darnold. Um, but then today in that move the ball drill, Br- Purdy went first, Lance or Darnold went second, then Purdy went again, then, then Lance went, then Allen finished. Do you think was that is that just the way it was today, or do you think Kyle has Darnold as the two on his, I don't know, internal depth chart at quarterback? No, it's been pretty even. I mean, when you when you add up all the throws, and and you know, conceivably, if if it was just as long a practice tomorrow, it would have been in Lance in that role that Darnold was in at the end of practice. So th- they've charted it out, and and so far, um, it's it's been really even as far as opportunities. So I, I think that was just uh, how the day fell. Um, this was more, yesterday was more of a Lance getting the two days and today was more of a Darnold getting the Tuesday. Uh, but um, it, uh, in, in the end, it ought, ought to be all evened out. Uh, Eric Hernandez a channel member says, did Shanahan call Brock the real deal? I think he did. I mean, I, was it the real deal? He said something complimentary of him yesterday, and one of the TV guys kind of followed up and and uh, asked Brock about it today, which is kind of awkward. What, was it the real deal? Is that what he called him? Or, yeah, I think it was the real or, deal. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what the real deal means. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sounds good. It sounds great. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I think that, you know, just 
from what Shanahan said is that he's he's quite pleased with Brock Purdy. I mean, there's no misgivings. There's no worries about the elbow. The arm is exactly the way it was last year. There's no real soreness beyond what a quarterback would would normally experience. So, um, I mean, I, I think he impressed everybody with his his comeback, uh, his return. I mean, you know, um, back in in March when he had this, we were all circling late August. I mean, we would be at at this point, we'd still be two weeks away from seeing Brock Purdy return to practice, and and he hasn't missed. Um, well, he he misses a practice every every two turns, but, um, to, to this point, I, I, I think that, um, what he's done just kind of bolsters what they thought about him and their impression of him coming out of that rookie season. Um, you know, I, I, to me, there's no world where the 49ers release Trey Lance, but I've got great respect for Mike Silver and Mike Silver wrote an article in the Chronicle that said that releasing Lance was an option. And then because it was silver, I read the thing start to finish, and I gave it some credibility. Then when I saw Rich Eisen pick up on it and do a whole segment on it on his show, um, it made me think, you know, I, is this viable? Matty, you, I, I trust you, you know, absolutely covering this team as much as almost anybody. Is is releasing Lance even a possibility? And um I, I'm almost to the point where I'd like to hear somebody ask Shanahan if that's if that's ever even a possibility here, or is that just wild speculation? I can't picture that. I can't. It just doesn't seem like that would register to me in any way. I don't think it makes sense on the cap. I don't think it makes sense. Period. Uh, I see an improving player. He may not be ready to start over Brock Purdy at Heinz Field. But I see a player who's ascending, and it would make no sense to to uh, quit on the the Trey Lance um, experiment, if you want to call it that, regardless of the price tag of of Lance going forward. How do you see it? What do you think of those two those two reports? I mean, Eisen's credible, and and Silver's credible, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you're asking, is it a possibility? Yeah, it's a possibility. I mean. I think when the 49ers were making all their quarterback decisions back in March, which is signing Darnold and then signing uh, Brandon Allen, um, you know, it, it was more of a possibility because they didn't really know what was going on with uh, with Trey Lance and and Purdy as well. So they needed to kind of bolster that spot. Um, just as I said, that they were encouraged by how Purdy came back from his elbow injury. I think they've been encouraged by – how Lance treated the off season and working with Jeff Christensen and, um, you know, finally getting that mechanics down to a point where um, you, you just see it. He's, he's gaining more and more confidence all the time. Um, he's starting to hit some of those timing routes that he wasn't hitting in the past. I mean, arrow is up for him. I, I said, when training camp began, keep an eye on his completion percentage because in previous training camps, it was below 60%. And that's sort of a, a red flag. I mean, you know, uh, completion percentage in the 50s, you just don't see that anymore. That's what guys in the 70s and 80s used to have. Now you're starting to see completion percentages in the, in the 70s. And uh, right now, and we're still early in training camp, but uh, Trey Lance's completion percentage is up there. And if you can start to hit those, those layups, um, th that he misses every now and then. I mean, it's still a bit of a bugaboo for him, but if he hit those, he would be up around 70% in this camp. Um, and that's, uh, that's a big difference from where he's been in the past. I mean, that's a very broad brush way of looking at it, but I think it is telling, um, in the long run about uh, where he is as far as, uh, accuracy and timing, which is the chief things that, uh, Kyle Shanahan was worried about. But, uh, to your point, I mean, I very difficult to see the him them releasing him, getting nothing back. Um, this is a team that ran out of quarterbacks last year, and then risking the possibility that he catches on with another team and excels for them. So then the 49ers will have given up three draft picks for a guy that they got four starts out of and um, got nothing in return for him. Uh, it, it's a very, very difficult scenario to see. 